Now on the Epic, right now on the red, it's 72060. We all know that that's one of the outputs of the red. On the Epic, it's 1080-2398, which I use. So if you go, if you want to browse around to some other clips, you're welcome to do that. Everything in there is legal. Um, you could go and you could look in the other folders. Fiona is, uh, uh, you could look in Fiona. You could see other, um, other files. And if you go to the red or the Epic, you could go to Epic and you could see some Epic pictures if you don't tell anybody. So, um, you know, that's, that's 1080p because the Epic was serving, serving 1080 23.9a. So, can you also view it on an iPhone? You can also view it on, a, on an iPhone 4 because that can take 720 files where the other iPhones can't. Mm -hmm. If you can set this to encode at like standard depth and then it could work on an older iPhone, but that, it just starts, you know, 720 is about the threshold. Because you can see it looks good on the iPad. You can judge focus and stuff like that. But if you went to standard depth, you'd probably be disappointed. 720 is like just OK. Um, so let me just, I know I only have a couple more minutes. Um, but I think what I've got, I, there was one more thing I wanted to point out here. Um, ease of use. Hopefully you guys feel this is pretty simple. It's really simplified. The complexity is in its design. If you go see the outpost cart, you might draw and write down everything that I put in there. The complexities for us is in the software and how we've built the architecture in, inside of it. Because it's just a bunch of computers. Mm. But you know, how you network computers together, everybody has access to computers. How you network them is where you've got to get creative. You've got to get technically creative, which is sometimes hard for people to do. Um, and this system is 3D enabled. Red Cine X, I don't know if you guys have access. If you don't have access yet, Red Cine X supports 3D. Do you have that version yet? Is that out? Maybe? Okay. Sure. okay. Yeah, it'll be out soon if you don't have it. It's, it's really remarkable. Um, these systems are really starting to find themselves on all sorts of productions. And that's really good. Because if you say, well, you know, sometimes people will argue, well, who's using a system like this? How can I, can I really wrap my head around doing the dailies on set? Undercovers is a show that shoots four hours of footage a day on two and a half cameras. They have sort of a, a split ship with two cameras, two and a half cameras. Four hours a day, one tech can do all this work on one system. That is remarkable, OK? Uh, pirates, 12 cameras, 3D, 12 cameras, shooting nowhere near civilization a lot of times, all over the place. One guy, all the negative, one guy, four, uh, three carts. So they needed more hardware because there's just so many cameras. But he's just like a mad scientist, sits on a chair and just rolls down the side and rolls back. But, but it's only one guy, I swear. It's one guy on Pirates doing all this data management. That's amazing. One guy. And Disney's just like, holy crap, you know? Like on Tron, they shot 450 terabytes of negative. The Bond company forces them to back it up three times. That's one and a half petabytes of storage for a 1080p movie. On Pirates with 12 cameras, we haven't even hit 40 terabytes yet. And we're on day 79 or 80. That's, that's the power of this. And one guy can do all that remotely. All right, we'll get ready to wrap up. Okay, wrapping up right here. Summer Vacation, shot in Mexico, 100 miles outside of Veracruz, 104 degrees, no internet, four camera, anamorphic red shoot. This is Mel Gibson's new movie. Um, four camera, anamorphic red shoot, one guy. One guy. And a new $300 million epic movie is coming uh, <laughs> that is going to be one guy. It's going to be one guy, starting really, really soon. Last night while filming, can I use that word, the final scene, I was able to watch dailies on an iPad, not from the day before, but from the same day. An incredible picture, instantly, avail uh, instantly available to view, grade, edit, anything. It blew my mind. J.J. Abrams. Um, you know, that's, that's who... You know, it takes some pioneers to sort of adapt this stuff at the very beginning. I understand that. You know, some people can take these risks. But there is absolutely no barrier to entry to make this stuff work. This thing is $15,000 and it'll broadcast over a football field. We discussed that. This guy is $2,000, but it has a much smaller range, you know, and it, it does it a little bit differently. But this is two ways in which people can do it. So if you don't have the 15 grand or the production's not going to rent this, surely they could rent and do this. So you can see that taking these onset systems and putting them all together, you could totally pull this off. We got through it, right? Is that yeah. good? Thank you. Okay.